Hello and welcome to Solution Cone. In this video, we'll see about the helpers in Coreigniter and how to use the methods of each helpers. So, in the last video, we saw about the libraries in Coreigniter, how to use the libraries. So, to use any library, we have to write dollar this load. Firstly, we have to load the library, and here we specify the particular library name and then we can access the methods inside this library as dollar this the library name and the method name which we have to access right so in the similar fashion now in order to use the helpers we have to specify we have to load the helpers first and then we can use the methods of the helper so the norm the common difference between the libraries and the helpers are libraries are the classes and this classes have certain methods which are associated for that class so when we load the library if you can see here we load the library so here we have created the object for this particular uh, we have loaded a particular class and then we have created the object and then we have used the method of that particular class but in case of helpers helpers are normal methods so here you have to write the helper name and you can directly use the method inside that helper in your controllers or in your views which is associated with this controller okay so so let's see with an example firstly let's go to the documentation once again and in the user guide you see the helpers so this is the list of helpers which is available in the coding igniter so there are lots and lots of helpers like array helper captcha helper cookie helper date helper directory download email file helper form helper html helper so so many helpers and n number of methods to use which saves lots of time uh, and efforts of an individual so suppose i want to use the html helper so in order to use the html helper i have to load the html helper first and the name of the html helper which is html now if i want to use any of the methods of html for example i have a method named br br is a method which produces a br tag right so this is the way to use the methods inside the html helper now if i just reload this page you can see that a line break has occurred now if i just comment this i have not loaded the helper so it gives me an error saying that the function br is undefined so firstly we have to load the helper and then we can use the methods inside the helpers now suppose i want 3 br tags so i'll just write 3 and you can see that it has come down by 3 line breaks also we can use the helper methods in our views now we have loaded the helper in our controller so in our view which is associated with the controller is user views so inside the views folder we can go there and here also you can use this method as we have already loaded it so the output would remain the same now if i just remove this and i want just a single line break so you can see that it's working so this is a way to load any helper and use the methods inside those helpers if you have any doubt please comment below and 
Thank you for watching guys. Hope you like, subscribe and comment below if you have any doubts. Thank you.